Pancake Joe 77. Should the Browns sign a new running back since Nick Chubb, Felton, and John Kelly have uh, COVID? Also, Kareem is injured. Yes, plenty of injuries there. I don't know all the running backs that they have worked out at least today. My answer to this would be go ahead, subscribe to our Browns channel where my man Matthew Peterson is going to keep you guys up to date. Please go ahead and check it out on YouTube. Just look up Browns Chat Sports, and I guarantee you, You'll be able to find it. It's called the Browns Report. So look that up on YouTube, and he'll keep you up to date. Let's go to Vroom Vroom. Since OBJ is a drama queen, thoughts on the Browns signing Golden Tate? Well, man, um, Golden Tate has also been kind of known to be a little bit of a drama queen and more of a under, more of a slot receiver. I think Golden's washed up at this point, and if I was Cleveland, I would just focus on the players that you currently have on your roster, so I'm going to go ahead and say no on going out and getting free agent wide receiver Golden Tate. I'm trying to think of another receiver out there that would be interesting, but the fact that Josh Reynolds also got claimed today, I'm going to say no. no. No no to Golden Tate and any other free agent receiver. What up, Jeff Reed? Which division gets more teams in the playoffs, AFC West or AFC North? Really good question. Oh boy, so I really think that the Ravens end up making the playoffs. I don't see the Browns making it, and I don't see I don't see the Steelers making it, man, if I'm being honest. So I'm going to go ahead and say it's the AFC West. It would not shock me whatsoever if the Chargers, the Raiders, and the Chiefs all made it. So I'm going to go ahead and say it's going to end up being the AFC West. From Chef, was moving on from OBJ the best thing for the Browns? I mean, I think it was. The Browns' offense looked a lot better. The team looked a lot better with OBJ gone. I had, I had thought it was going to work itself out. I thought they could bring it back and the offense would be good. It hasn't been. Baker wasn't off the charts great against the, the Bengals, but he looked more comfortable. He looked more confident. And the Bengals blew out the Browns. Or excuse me, the Browns blew out the Bengals. So I, I think that should kind of be the priority in the end. I think that's kind of your, your number one takeaway from that game that, the Browns look like the Browns we thought they were going to be. And I think they still have a chance now to win the AFC North. So who wins the division? Type B-A-L for the Ravens. Type C-I-N for the Bengals. C-L-E for the Cleveland Browns. Or type in P-I-T for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Who wins the division this year? Year. BAL for the Ravens, CIN for Cincinnati, CLE for the Browns, PIT for the Steelers. This next one's coming in from Barrett B49. What up, Barrett B? Who's the most underrated team right now? So, this is actually a pretty good question here. In terms of what exactly is an underrated team, I'll say a team that nobody is really thinking about because they lost a few games and they're 3-5. and five. I'm going to throw out the team, the Seattle Seahawks, who they're about to get back Russell Wilson. You can make the argument that they're the worst team in that current division. But at 3-5, and five, do not sleep on Seattle for making a late playoff push because if Russ is in the game, they're at least going to have an opportunity. If somebody wants to give me another team name, I might throw out the New England Patriots, who've been playing much better football. Also, the Atlanta Falcons, they're sneaky 4-4. Four and four. And if they beat Dallas this week, oh yeah, get on the Atlanta hype train. Noah Dye, you're next up here on NFL Daily. What top quarterback 2022 prospect will or might go in the first round, or do you think it will be the second round? So again, quarterback prospects this year are very difficult in the draft. I would say the top three quarterbacks right now are probably Pickett from Pittsburgh, which blows my mind saying. Malik Willis has to be in that conversation, and then Cor uh, Matt Corral, Corral, excuse me. Uh, obviously, I've been eating that Golden Corral too much. But I, I would say all three of them have a shot, obviously, going in the first round. And the more and closer we get to the draft, you're going to see teams start hyping up quarterbacks. And as always, guys are going to go early. I will say this, though. The last time that I remember people talking about NFL draft classes being a weak group was, I believe, 2017. And a few quarterbacks that came out of that group were Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes. And you can say what you want about Deshaun, but both of them have a lot of talent. Now, if you want to get your questions featured on any of our mailbag shows, then you got to be subscribed. Otherwise, you miss out on all of our videos here at Chat Sports. And we do these mailbags live, so 
got to be watching live. That's a pretty simple uh, result right there. So sub right now if you want to join us in the future for more live NFL mailbags. Um, the Lunatic, if the NFL expands to 34 teams, which two cities are added? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe they had a, 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 an overseas team or non non um, uh, USA team in some capacity. Maybe they bring back the the a, uh, a St. Louis team. There's some legal issues there going on that I think are a, a bit of a problem uh, from that perspective. So, you know, maybe that's maybe that's a route they end up trying to go in the end. From Riley Gamer, what's the best team in the NFL? Um, the Cardinals have their they have the best record and they took it to the Cardinals with a backup quarterback in without DeAndre Hopkins too I think the Cardinals are the best team right now from Jillian who do you think is the biggest contender in the NFC and the AFC uh, the buys mean a lot this year NFC I think there are five teams Cardinals Rams uh, Packers Bucks Cowboys pick one you're probably right AFC Titans? Without Derrick Henry, you feel less about it, but they just beat the Rams. Maybe it's the Titans. Chargers have not been consistent. The Bills, I think I'm going to go with Bills, but they just lost to the Jags. The AFC, a bit inconsistent and a bit more wide open. Now, if anybody out there wants to bet on any NFL game this week, you can do it at one place and one place only. That's with BetUS, the number one sports book on the internet. And luckily, I'm going to pat ourselves on the back here. We got the number one deal on the internet. Huh, Mitch, number one deal. How do I get it? Go to chatsports.com slash BetUS promo code NFL Daily. That's going to get you 125% deposit bonus. Now, if you put down $100, you're going to get $125 for free. And for first-time BetUS users... We're also going to throw in a free NFL jersey. Yes, a free NFL jersey. So all you got to do, use the link, chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code NFL Daily. We'll cycle through some jerseys that we have on stock here. And then what I want you to do is send me your account number. Send me a bet that you made because if I'm being honest, y'all, I've been struggling in the whole betting game for the last week or two, so I need to see what you guys got. Email me that, jersey at chatsports.com. Then we'll figure out, you know, your address, your size, all that little logistics there. But it, you got to get started with BetUS. It's for first-time users only. I always tell people, imagine a world where you could put down $100, you get $125 for free to bet with, and then on top of that, we're going to get you a Nike NFL jersey. So you're getting a hell of a deal here. Thanks to chat sports so remember that again email us jersey at chatsports.com get a free nfl jersey but you got to get started with bet us now thanksgiving is right around the corner and if i'm being 100 percent legit with y'all i'm not the biggest fan of thanksgiving food so i want to put this one out here what's the better thanksgiving side is it mashed potatoes or is it stuffing please type m for mashed potatoes or you can go ahead and type s for stuffing if you're the kind of person that's like you know what man i just like to mix everything you can go ahead and type sm down in the comments if i had to pick between both i would say i would rather have good stuffing over good mashed potatoes because i think mashed potatoes are a little bit simple personally but both of them I usually end up passing on, if I'm being 100% honest, looking at a lot of the comments, I'm seeing a lot of S's. I do know this, Tom's favorite thing to eat on Thanksgiving is mashed potatoes, which maybe that tells you a little bit more about Tom. Uh, from Cody the Goat, what position is the weakest in the 2022 NFL draft? I think quarterback, like from what we've had in recent years, really stands out as a not great position grouping to deal with. Um, Top of running back is not great. You know, I think some of the, the, the bottom, the, the depth is solid. I don't, I don't love the tight end class either because my boy uh, Jaleel B Billingsley was a, uh, a, a head case for Alabama this year, which kind of sucks. I like the defensive ends. DT's a bit thin near the top, but quarterback stands out the most to me.